I don't think it's hyperbolic to say that Starfield could be one of, if not the most anticipated and most important game to Xbox ever. This is a Todd Howard joint after all, and players figured out ways to play Skyrim on the refrigerator. I'm going to show you how you can earn Starfield for free, but you'll need to start doing this now. This isn't some crazy multi-level marketing scheme, and I'm not going to try and sell you some book at the end that will promise you how to get instantly successful on YouTube overnight. But if you do manage to find one of those, let me know in the comments below so I can read it too. The way this all works is Microsoft Rewards. This is a relatively easy, but it will take you a few minutes a day, and let's face it, most of that time, you'd be doing something else anyway. If you've never used Microsoft Rewards before, you'll need to sign up. Go to Microsoft.com slash rewards. This is clearly not an affiliate link. I get nothing from you signing up for this other than the satisfaction of knowing I've helped you save $15 a month. You'll start off at level one and have the following daily limits, 50 points for search and five for using edge, but that's just for the first month. Once you've earned 500 points, you'll need to do those searches for 10 days to do this. The following month, you'll upgrade to level two and your daily points level will increase. Once at level two, you'll be able to earn 270 points a day from search and at least 30 more points a day from the more activities. That's an average of 300 points a day. In addition to the rewards, there's also the Xbox mobile app. This also gives you the ability to earn up to 85 points a day if you don't subscribe to Game Pass already. And if you do, you can earn over 130 points a day. You'll get points for playing Jewel, a PC game, or just by using the Xbox app. You get five points a day using the app, but you get five more points each day, up to 25 points a day, then that streak resets. This is another easy way to earn points. But Rob, that's still not enough for Ultimate, and you're right. Not yet it isn't. The next part is easy. Play Xbox games and check in with the rewards app on your console. You'll earn a variety of points per day. They've been tweaking this a lot lately, and it has been reduced a little bit, and they moved some of it out of the regular Xbox app and into the Game Pass app, but you don't need to earn a lot here. The bulk of your points will come from Search and the mobile app. If you are already a Game Pass Ultimate subscriber, you have even more ways to earn. You'll get about another 100 points out of the Xbox mobile app per day. You'll get three points for just playing a game that's on Game Pass. And if you get a daily achievement, you'll get another 50 points. There's even opportunities to earn more points completing weekly and monthly challenges. So once you get done totaling up all your points, you can see without including any of the bonus points, you're earning upwards of 11,970 points monthly. Throw in a couple of bonus points and you have more than enough to buy Game Pass Ultimate each and every month just by doing your daily sets, playing some Xbox, and making sure you're getting your searches done. Okay, so now that you've earned all these points, what do you do with them? Spend them on Game Pass. Since Starfield is an Xbox Studios game, you'll have access to it on day one as part of your Game Pass subscription. You can spend 7,750 points on PC Game Pass for one month, 12,000 points for Game Pass Ultimate for one month, 35,000 points for Game Pass for three months, or buy a bunch of other rewards like Xbox gift cards so you can just buy the game outright. This is what I do. Over the course of the last two years, I've maybe paid for Game Pass twice, and that's because each time I forgot to turn my auto renewal off. Yeah, when you redeem your reward, you have to accept auto renewal, but you can immediately turn that off. You can even donate your points. I've done that from time to time as well. Bottom line, with a little bit of effort doing things that you're probably already doing now, you can save yourself $15 a month and get one of the most anticipated games of all time for basically free. Also, from the time that this video was released, you'll have over two months to save up points. So you should be able to get a month of Ultimate and then maybe buy the game if you really like it or play it, beat it, and save yourself $70. Either way, I hope this video saved you a few bucks. If you enjoyed it or found value from it, make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing. That way you get alerted to all my future Starfield content. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. Or should I say, to the Starfield. Maybe I shouldn't say that.